ladies and gentlemen, it's almost 11 o'clock. I was on my way to sleep when I realized that I was rearranging some files and the news site data mask wasn't populating correctly. So I didn't want it to be all night and I wasn't going to wait till tomorrow morning. So I decided to correct it now. I wanted to take the time and explain something. The video that I did talking about data mass and the debut, that video I would listen to very, very carefully, especially the document that's attached to that video. As I said, if everybody and their grandfather knew that government, when they took the gold out of society, you guys know about the gold, right? When they seized all the gold in America, when they took all of that gold, by law, they had to compensate. Go and look at the Fifth Amendment. Don't take my word for it. Go take a look at the Fifth Amendment. This thing is called the New Deal. This is the New Deal, March 9, 1933, Act of Congress. Congress says, hey, the, somebody gave the supreme authority to the Treasury to seize all of your gold from in the hands of individuals, corporations, and partnerships. Okay, they took the gold. Well, the Fifth Amendment says that if they take anything for public use and the Treasury couldn't take it for private use, they could only take it for public use, and Congress agrees with it that they took it for public use. Wait, hold on. How do I know this? Well, we skipped three pages. We come right here. It says the gold that is given up by the people in the present crisis will be delivered to the government, public use, and it should be used to ad issue additional monies whereby the people wouldn't be charged interest. Are you not being charged interest on your money when you deposit into the bank? Do they not charge you interest? Of course they do. You're being charged interest on your money. They're not supposed to be charging interest. See, whereby the people will not be charged any interest while that Federal Reserve notes are in circulation. So ah, that gives you the right to forgive the government. Why would you hold the government liable for its stupidity? You had better understand that you have the right to forgive the government for not keeping its word. What am I talking about when I say forgive the government for not keeping its word? Ladies and gentlemen, here's the thing. The government promised to compensate you. It said because you allowed them to take your money that they were going to make your notes, drafts, bills of exchange, bankers acceptances, and traders acceptances the new money, which will be worth 100 cents on a dollar. Have you had that experience? But then they said they were going to place a mortgage on your homes and all the other property of all the people in the nation. Then Senate document, Senate document, Senate document, number 43, specifically says, pay attention, that the ownership of all property is in the state. Individual so-called ownership is only by mere use, usury. Subject to government choice as to whether or not they want you to own your property. That's why you don't own anything. That's why the government claims ownership of all property in the United States. Do they have a right? No. So offset it. Forgive the government for their stupidity saying that they own your property when you know that you have the right to property. Write it off to a 1099C. Go watch the video and get your credit. This is not nothing that you can't do. IRS tax topic 453, go read it if somebody owes you. Well, the United States said right here, hold on, I didn't say it, they did. It said under the Federal Reserve Act, your obligation, because the government is backing this, the government is saying this is what they're going to do, it becomes a government obligation because they're the ones who said this is the way it's supposed to be. So it's a government obligation. Pay attention that are deposited as security and gold, this is where they change the definition of gold. For reserve notes are placed in the hands of the Federal Reserve agent. Now it says this provision is for the issuance of Federal Reserve banknotes. Well, as of 1945, June 12th, the act by that date, June 12th, 1945 act, subsection number two, Congress changed it to Federal Reserve notes, no longer Federal Reserve banknotes. So now it's for the issuance of Federal Reserve notes and the security backed of it, security and gold backed of it, pay attention, for Federal Reserve notes are placed in the hands of Federal Reserve agents. See, the security and gold for Federal Reserve notes, so the security backed of it, that's what he's talking about, the security and the gold, is the obligation, government obligations, the government said there's security and gold, that's Congress saying that, 
notes, drafts, bills of exchange, bankers' acceptances, including trade acceptances, outlined in a section for which the gentleman has referred, Section 401. So the government promised to compensate you by allowing your paper, that's right, you know that paper they call worthless, that they say is not legal tender, that they say is not a good negotiable, okay? When they tell you it's not a negotiable instrument, it's not legal tender, it is not money, it does not represent anything, that it is worthless paper, they're now denying you and blocking your access to the use of lawful money. By doing that, you get to bring forth a claim. You don't have to go to court. Go back and look at IRS Tax Topic 453. It says you do not have to go to court. You don't. You just have to document the efforts you took to collect your money. You ain't got to show proof that you sent this letter or that letter. You just have to provide a statement. Now, here is your proof that they owe you. I'm giving it to you here. I also showed you in that video the document where they said it's incumbent, it's imperative, it's their job. It is intrago for them to work out something with the state. So let's do one last thing. Y'all don't mind? I don't mind. Watch what we're going to do. We're going to go here. Hurry up, Yandex. Yandex is a web browser. While we go to Yandex, Oh, by the way, remember I told you I was working on a site because the site needed some clarification? The site's back up, ladies and gentlemen. Okay? The site's back up. I, I just had to populate it again. All right, but we're going to do this. Let's let's do this, ladies and gentlemen. We have to go to SSA, Social Security Act 501. Let's go to Social Security Act 501. We don't want a PDF. We just want to go to the Social Security Act 501. H.A. I didn't ask for no H.A., okay? I didn't ask for no H.A. I want Social Security Act 501. That's what I asked for. I don't know why they're giving me some H.A. Pay, pay attention. To improve the health of all mothers. Now, this is every mother, including those mother, <coughs> excuse me, those other people. And pay attention. Grandmothers. Great-grandmothers. Great-great-great-great-great-great-great-great-great-great-grandmothers. All mothers. Now, hold on. It doesn't say citizens. Pay attention. It doesn't say citizens. This is all mothers and children. Why do you think they're letting people come into the country? Everybody keeps thinking that they're letting people come into the country because they're trying to do something nefarious. No, they're letting people come into the country so they can create accounts. Lord have mercy. I don't know why people can't see it. It's right there in front of you. Why do you think they are letting people come over the border? And don't think the Republicans don't know about this. That's a distraction, people. Don't fall for the okie doke. Let's prove it. Why do you think they're giving them benefits the moment they come into the country? Why do you think they're moving them into buildings, apartments, housing? They're providing all that stuff. Because like, they're a sanctuary city. Sanctuary, huh? Really? And you think the government's not getting something out of it? Y'all must be out of your mind that the government is doing it out of the kindness of its heart? And then y'all want to believe the Republicans? No, what the Republicans are doing, the Republican states on the southern border, what they're doing is they're shipping them to all the Democratic states. Why? Population. And because they're shipping them to the Democratic states, that means that they're going to choose sides. Hey, I didn't say it. Look at what they're doing. But hold on. To improve the health of all mothers and children. Hey, is it true that everybody in the United States is somebody's child? Is it true that all the men in the United States, all the boys in the United States is some mother's child? Interesting. So it includes all mothers and all children. You know, my mother has passed away, but I'm still her child. You follow me? My father passed away, but his mama, she passed away too, but he was still her child. All mothers and all children. It includes men and boys. Statutory interpretation, include does not necessarily mean exclude, unless there's an exception, and there's no exception. Now, hold on. Consistent with the applicable health status goals and national health objectives established by the Secretary under the Public Health Service Act. Ladies and gentlemen, do you know that includes all Americans? Hold on now. For the year 2000. Uh-oh. 
You mean to tell me it's just been 2000 all this time? No, ladies and gentlemen, it's not just the year 2000. But remember, what happened in the year 2000? Well, 1999, they balanced the budget. Clinton came out of office with a balanced budget, and then all of a sudden, ooh, well, remember, they're supposed to create a deficit. This is a billion dollars, $850 million. Now, hold on. If you all think that this was $850 million per the United States and not per state, pay attention, for the purpose of enabling each state, each state. Interesting, ain't it? Interesting. To reduce infant mortality and incidence. Now, remember, everybody's an infant, infant, infant. Remember the infant estate? You remain a minor until you gain control of the security. Hold on. Social security. I don't know why people don't understand that that means that you have an account with this agency if you have a social security number. Those are securities. But it's just a social whatever. Those are securities. It's called the Social Securities Administration. They're administering securities, people. How how else could you understand it? It's called the Social Security Administration. They're administering securities. Look, an official website of the United States government. They're administering securities. It's called the Social Security Trust. Okay, to reduce infant mortality and incidence of preventable diseases and handicapping conditions among children, including men, to reduce the need for inpatient and long-term care services and increase the number of children, especially preschool children, approximate, uh, appropriately immunized against diseases and a number of low-income children, receiving health assessments and follow-up diagnostics and treatment services and otherwise to promote the health of mothers, all mothers, remember they said it, all mothers, and infants. Oh, shucky, shucky. Providing parental delivery and postpartum, postpartum? Pay attention, postpartum care for low income. At-risk pregnant women and to promote the health of children by providing preventative and primary care services for low-income children. Didn't Congress say that their job was to make sure that them children were taken care of? Especially those who couldn't get a job. So when you recognize that the government is responsible in the United States and is supposed to take care of you, and you recognize that all you've been doing is not holding them responsible and forgiving them, of their responsibility. Go ahead and forgive them. It's not going to hurt you to forgive. Forgiveness is not just a virtue. Forgiveness is a requirement in life. If you want to be forgiven, you have to forgive your neighbor. So go ahead and forgive them. And get your deduction by writing it off. And ta-da. Now, if you do it right, if you are reasonable, you'll be tax exempt for the rest of your life. But I haven't been paying taxes in 100 billion years. And you don't understand that the tax credits will eradicate, if you have enough of them, eradicate any remaining tax debt that you owe. That's what they're there for. What if I have a lien with the IRS? Then you have to document your deductions. Go watch the video, the debut of Data Mass, and you'll understand. Ladies and gentlemen, this video is only going to be 15 minutes long. I, when I said I was tired, when I realized that data mass wasn't populating, I wasn't going to go to sleep that, with that happening. I wouldn't have been able to go to sleep. As a matter of fact, because it's going on 11 o'clock, three more minutes, it'll be 11 o'clock, I have to take a sleeping pill to go to sleep because tomorrow is going to be a long day and I have a consult that involves a matter that is pressing. I have to be ready. So with that being said, I hope those of you who have an ear – Hear what is being said, and those of you who are reasonable will do things the right way, will do the right thing, will do your research, will do your math according to the law. Don't do it according to what you think, because what you think, that's what's gotten you in all this trouble all this time. Hey, you didn't know about this before I told you, so don't sit up here and think you know more about it than I do. 
Gotta go. Take care.